Hi mga kawawmat, in this video we will discuss the concept of inductive and deductive reasoning. Our objectives, we will use inductive reasoning in observing patterns and stating conjectures and we will apply the law of detachment and law of syllogism in deductive reasoning. So let's start. So before we proceed to our lesson, so let's try to go back to our previous lesson, okay? I, I mean, um, uh, let's recall some concepts, okay? So, um, let me give you an idea that a conjecture is an educated guess based on several observations which may be true. So, pag sinabi natin conjecture, ito yung nakukuha natin, ito yung parang pinaka-conclusion natin, pinaka-concept na nabubuo natin based dun sa mga uh, nakuha nating uh, specific na um, ang tanong daw, basis. Okay? So, meron kang mga pinagbasihan. So, or pwede ring uh, dahil sa observation mo, dahil um, meron kang idea sa ganito, so na-apply mo siya. So, pag ganun, pag uh, uh, pinagsama-sama natin lahat ng observations natin, at the same time yung alam natin ng mga concepts, pwede tayong makabuo doon ng conjecture. Okay? So, again, ang conjecture, it may be true or false. Okay? So, pwedeng Ah, uh, ito yung nabuo mo na idea, pero it doesn't mean na ito ay true. Kasi nag-base ka lang based on your observation. Okay? So, parang para sa iyo 'yun. Okay? So, before we proceed, let us see if you can look for patterns and answer to the following questions. So, I have here uh figures and I want you to guess what is the next figure. So, I'm giving you 10 seconds. Okay, so, what is the next pattern? So, this is, okay, so as you can see, the darker shade moves counterclockwise. Okay, so that's the pattern. Next. So, I have here, look for a pattern and draw the next figure. So, this is the next figure. So, as you can see, from 1, so nag-add siya ng 2, nag-add siya ng 3, so nag-add siya ng 4. Okay? Next, my math teacher is strict. My previous teacher was also strict. What can you say about all math teachers? So if your math teacher is strict and your previous teacher was also strict, what can you say about all math teachers? All math teachers are strict. Next, I have here 1 times 1 equals 1 up to uh, 11,111 times 11,111. So, what do you think is the answer? So, by looking at the pattern, what do you think is the pattern? So, you can uh, easily get the answer. So, kapag ganito, hanap tayo ng pattern. So, what do you think is the pattern? Okay. So, as you can see, kung ilan yung digits mo, yun yung nasa gitna. Okay. So, uh, I have here 1, 2, 1, 2, so 1, 2, 1, 2, and then 3 digits. And then, ito ay 1, 2, 3 na, so 1, 2, 3, kabila rin, 1, 2, 3, and then 4 digits ito. And then, 1, 2, 3, 4 na ito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5 digits. Okay? Next, whenever Janine visits her doctor, she receives excellent services. This made her believe that doctors give excellent services. Okay. So, tandaan po natin itong mga examples na binigay po natin dito kasi pwede, uh, gagamitin natin ito sa pag uh, come up ng um, counter example. Okay. So, let's have first inductive reasoning. So, inductive reasoning, para mas madali siyang maintindihan, this is from specific to general. Okay. General information. So, uh, pag sinabi natin inductive, nagsisimula ka sa mga specific. And then, makaka uh, makakabuo ka ng general. Okay? Conclusion. 
Okay. So, it is the process of gathering specific information, usually through observation and measurement, and then making a conjecture based on the gathered information. So, again, ang conjecture po, it may be true or false. Okay? Kung meron kang nabuong conjecture, ang conjecture po natin para maging false, yung kukontrahin natin siya, dun po mapasok ang counter example. Okay. So, pag sinabi natin conjecture, ito po yung uh, nabuo mo na conclusion based dun sa nagathered mong information. Dun sa specific information. So, maaring nakuha mo yung specific information na yun uh, through observation or measurement. Okay? So, makakabuo tayo ng conjecture. Now, so, counterexample, if the conjecture is not true. Okay, nakabuo ka ng conjecture. Tapos, yung nabuo mong conclusion, ay, conjecture is not true, dun papasok ang counterexample. Okay, if your conjecture is not true, papasok po dito si counterexample. Ano nga ba ito? So, it is an easy way to disprove a conjecture. So, parang disprove, ibig sabihin, kukontrahin mo siya. Okay, Con there is a contradiction. Okay, so, pag dinisprove mo si conjecture, papasok si counterexample. So, a counterexample shows that, that the statement to be false. So, it shows the statement to be false. So, um, kapag si conjecture, ginawa mong kinontra mo siya, yung contradiction, or dinisprove mo siya, dun papasok si counterexample. Gagawin natin false si conjecture. So, balikan natin yung example natin kanina. So, my math teacher is strict. My previous teacher was also strict. What can you say about all math teachers? So, ang sagot natin dito kanina is, all math teachers are strict. That is the conjecture. Now, how will you make it a counter example? Ang sagot dito kanina, all math teachers are strict. So, it is proved natin siya. Gawa tayo ng counter example. And that is, there are math teachers who are not strict. Okay, let's have the next one. Whenever Janine visits her doctor, she receives excellent services. This made her believe that, so ang sagot natin dito kanina, um, this made her believe that doctors give excellent services. Okay, so yung mga doctors daw, nagbibigay ng excellent services, that is the conjecture. Now, what is the counterexample? So, gagawin natin false yung conjecture natin kanina. And that is, there are doctors who do not give excellent services. Okay, so these two are examples of counter examples. Next. So let's have and proceed to the concept of deductive reasoning. So this is the other way around. Okay, so pag sinabi nating inductive from specific, yung mga specific informations mo na nagather mo, kaya ka nakabuo ng conjecture, um, eto naman, ang pag sinabi nating deductive, from general to specific. So, meron kang concept, okay? May nabuo ka ng idea. And then, ang gagawin mo, maghahanap ka ng specific information na mag agri dun sa nabuo mong concept or idea. Okay? So, it is the process of showing that certain statements follow logically from agreed assumptions and proven facts. So, ito nga yung sinasabi ko, uh, meron siyang mga statements na dapat mag agree dun sa assumption mo, dun sa general assumption mo, para ma, uh, para kung ma-prove mo yung facts. Okay, so when we are talking about deductive reasoning, we have laws of deductive reasoning. So, meron tayong ginagamit na laws sa deductive reasoning. So, we have the law of detachment where if P, then Q. So, eto ay no familiar na kayo sa PQ na to dahil eto ay nadidiscuss na natin sa if-then statements. Okay, so if P, then Q is a conditional, a true conditional statement and P is true. Okay, so kapag yung P mo, yung hypothesis is true, then your Q, your conclusion is also true. So that is the law of detachment under the law uh, under deductive reasoning. Okay? And then we also have the law of syllogism. So dito papasok yung if P, 
then Q, so if and Q, then R are true conditional statements. So, halimbawa daw, si P ay true and also your conclusion. And then, inano natin siya, kinuha natin yung inverse niya. Okay, yung if Q, then R. And then, it the, uh, those statements are also true. Therefore, P, okay, tingnan mabuti. P, uh, if P, then R is also true. Okay? So, parang sinasabi, par, uh, parang ano to eh, parang transit, pwede mo ditong ipasok hawig siya dun sa uh, transitivity. Okay? Na, if P then Q and Q then R, then P is R. Okay? So, kung alam nyo yung idea ng transitivity. Okay? So, let us state whether the argument is valid. So, titingnan lang natin kung yung given na statement is valid. Or, I mean, yung argument. Okay. So, Pia knows that if she misses the review day before the test, she cannot make a good score in the test. Okay? So, dito, if she misses the review day before the test, okay, this is your hypothesis. Okay? This is your P. She cannot make a good score in a test. This is the conclusion. Okay? So, if this is true, then this is also true. Okay. So, Pia misses the review class on Wednesday. So, na-miss niya. So, based dun sa ating first statement, na kapag na-miss niya, mer makakakuha siya ng, ay, hindi magandang score ang makukuha niya. So, na-miss niya yung review class ng Wednesday. So, there, she concludes that she will not get a good score in the test on the following day. Okay? So, nag-base tayo dito sa ating first statement. Okay. So, using the law of detachment, the logical argument is valid. Why? Na kapag, tama nga naman, na kapag na-miss niya yung ito, uh, yung conclusion niya na hindi siya makakuha ng magandang score is also true. Okay? So, it is valid for Pia to conclude that the conclusion Q is true. Meaning, the conclusion that Pia will not get a good score in the test is true because she misses her review class before the test. So, ibig sabihin ito, this is also true. So, the argument is valid. Next. So, if two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. So, angle A and angle B are supplementary. So, the two angles form a linear pair. Okay? So, bigyan ko lang kayo ng konting idea about linear pair. Pag sinabi nating linear pair, ito yung dalawang angles na naglalay doon sa ating line. So, yung nasa isang line sila, yung dalawang angles mo makikita mo sa isang line. Kaya nga siya tinawag na linear pair. Okay? Naglalay siya doon. Pareho sila. Okay? Or, uh, mas madaling sabihin, adjacent sila sa isa't isa. Okay? So, pag sinabi namang adjacent, ito yung magkatabi. Now, so given the statement, let's see if the argument is valid. So, using the law of detachment, okay, so again, if P, then Q, uh, the P and Q are true conditional statements. So, this, the argument is not valid. Why? So, papakita natin. Given the statement P, Q and its conclusion are true, so ito, true. Okay? If two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. These are both true. Tama naman. Okay? But, it doesn't mean that the hypothesis is also true. So, balikan natin. The argument implies that all supplementary angles form a linear pair. So, ang sabi rito, pa, uh, so the two angles form a linear pair. Kasi since yung two angles mo ay supplementary, at linear pair daw sila. So, ibig sabihin, ang supplementary daw o lahat ng supplementary angles form a linear pair. And this is not valid. Why? Let me show you a counter example. So, again ha, this is your conjecture. Okay? This is your conjecture. Now, so since uh, hindi siya true, meron tayong mabubuong counter example. Okay? That these angles are supplementary but not linear. So, bakit tayo nakabuo ng conjecture, ay, ng, I mean, ng counter example dito? Because, hindi po lahat ng supplementary angles are, uh, forms a linear pair. 
Okay? Hindi po lahat, kagaya po nito. So, ito, supplementary sila because the sum of the two angles is 180. So, 130 plus 150 is that, it, that is 180. But, hindi po siya linear pair. So, ibig sabihin, not all supplementary angles form a linear pair. So, dito pa lang, the argument is not valid. Okay? So, this is the counter example. A. So, write a conditional statement that can be made from true conditional statements using the law of syllogism. So, eto naman tayo. Uh, if P then Q and Q then R then P is R. Okay? So, eto yung tatluhan. So, if the weather is good, then the sun is shining. So, this is your P, this is your Q. If the sun is shining, this is your Q, then we will go swimming. This is your R. So, if P then Q and Q then R, then P is R. Okay. So, we have, using the law of syllogism, if the weather is good, then we will go swimming. So, P, Q, Q, R, then P is R. So, if the weather is good, then we will go swimming. Next. Suppose that the given statements are true, use deductive reasoning to give another statement that must also be true. So, again, ha? Uh, deductive reasoning um, is from general to specific. Okay. So, number one, all snakes are called blooded. A cobra is a snake. So, we can conclude that by, uh, we can conclude inductively that cobras are called blooded. Next, no human can fly. I am a human. Therefore, I cannot fly. Okay. So, the, the examples below show the difference between inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning. So, we're done discussing the concepts of the inductive reasoning, the concepts of deductive reasoning, and the examples. Now, let me show you the difference. Okay? Dedu aside from ang inductive ay from specific to general, and then ang deductive is from general to specific, let's have more examples. So, I have here, Carlo knows that Joan is in grade 8. And Abby is in grade 9. So, take note yung ating first statement. All the other grade 9 students that Carlo knows are older than Joanne. Therefore, Carlo concluded inductively that Abby is older than Joanne. Next. Carlo knows that Abby is older than Paolo. He also knows that Paolo is older than Joanne. So, based on the accepted statement, Carlo concluded that Abby is older than Joanne. So, ito parang uh, in-apply dito yung isang law of deductive reasoning, kung mapapansin ninyo. Okay? So, ito po, Carlo concluded deductively that Abby is older than Joanne. So, in-apply dito yung isang law of deductive reasoning. Okay? So, can you give the difference between inductive and deductive reasoning? So, aside from the um, uh, definitions given from the previous slides. So, always remember that inductive reasoning is judging by experience, while deductive reasoning is judging by logical progression. So, before we end this tutorial, I want to give credits and thanks dito po sa ating Matsaya TV YouTube channel. So, um, this is owned by one of the my co-teachers. And uh, may I request na uh, pakisubscribe rin po ang kanyang YouTube channel. So, eto po. Thank you po sa ating Matsaya TV and to Sir Parenya sa pag uh, sa pagpe-prepare po ng PowerPoint presentation na nakikita po natin ngayon. Thank you po. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.